Yeah, what's up everybody and welcome to uh, Feed Up Friday. I'm your host, as you know, uh, Brian Bonbons, and today we're going to be discussing stuff that I think is really important to me. Uh, I have an opinion, my opinion counts, yours doesn't, you don't have a YouTube channel, you suck. So, first up, we're going to be discussing my favorite figure of all time. This is the best fucking figure you've ever seen. You know, my opinion counts, yours doesn't. By the way, shout out to Alexis. Your first display was shit, your second display shitter. Uh, anyway, this is Cyclonus. It's fucking awesome. Look how good the big bobble head is on it. You know, look how the, the detail on this body is fucking fantastic. You know, this is the best fucking figure I've ever seen. I mean, look at this. Articulation. It's fucking brilliant. It doesn't fall apart or nothing. Uh, anyway, so we're going to transform it. I don't normally do transformations on camera, but for you guys, I'm going to do it. And here it is transformed. I mean, this is fucking fantastic. This is the best Cyclonus I've ever seen. My opinion counts. Yours doesn't. Anyway, uh, you know, Rohan's not here this evening. Uh, you know, we've got him. He's tied up in the fucking corner. You know, this is his punishment. He doesn't unbox his stuff. You know, I've come round. I'm going to unbox all of it. I'm going to play with it. I'm going to give an opinion on it. And it's going to count because my, kin my opinion is better than yours. Throw hands! Hello and welcome back to Rohan's Corner. And thanks, Gav, for getting me out of that tight predicament oh, that's no problem it's a good job i was coming around today absolutely uh yeah i've got him out the door thank uh, god for that police are on their way yeah he's, yeah he's he's done uh hi everyone uh today we're going to be discussing upgrade kits gav's brought over a couple of his gems and we're going to talk about how they improve the look of your bots so here we're looking at pure weapons kits uh obviously you've got a blade on um jet fire uh, weapons, uh, shoulder missiles, and a replacement gun on Jazz, and a shit ton of missiles on uh... tracks. It's interesting, isn't it? You need some big cannons for your bots. Yeah, I mean, I think with the case of some of these weapons kits, and then we've got the Centurion drone uh, packing uh, laid out in front of them, you know, Centurion drone pack you know gave us weapons that really should have come with the bots in the first place and um, in the case of some of these kits you know they're making the weapons far better than what you know the main line was actually giving us yeah. and third party are actually able to check out something that's significantly better i mean uh in the case of the the blade and the uh uh, yeah, the jazz weapons, they are 3D printed, yet you really wouldn't know that the detail has been, you know, the, the, that grain has been taken right out of them. Yeah, you're absolutely right. The quality is fantastic. And I totally agree with you on the Centurion drone pack. One of the pieces I was really looking forward to was Ironhide's drill piece and Trailbreaker's radar dish, which I haven't got here. It's up on my Trailbreaker upstairs. And they just make the toy and show off those elements that we didn't get to see in the original toy or in the upgraded toy, if you like, but to give us that G1 aesthetic. Well, the same goes with the uh, the Bumblebee exactly. uh, yeah, gun. Yeah. You know, Bumblebee, when people could get it, you know, I know you and I are lucky enough to be some of the ones that did. You know, he just came with the basic um, you know, the, the weapon kit that came with Cliff Jumper not a gun that represented anything that Bumblebee's seen within the past. Absolutely, yeah. And it's nice to have the Megatron gun and Shockwave gun for other bots to hold, and even the little reflector and Soundwave figures are, are quite cool just to pose with, uh, with other bits. And Roller. Yeah, I mean, let's talk about Roller. How could you get the wrong Roller with your, with your Earthrise Prime? You don't get a Roller. No, I mean, there are other companies um, that have done third party companies that have made rollers yeah um yeah, there's some good ones out there i think the one that came with the non-f um upgrade upgrade yeah. kit for the trailer yeah. um uh, was pretty good and there are some others but actually when you look at them compared to that little one in front of us here i think the little one here bar a little extra paint yes you know on it is actually perfect for it spot on uh, now we're looking at gap fillers. I mean, the biggest thing with gap fillers is when they're worthwhile. Um, there are some sets out there that are, you know, filling in back gaps. 
and pure back gaps only. And yeah. to be quite honest, who displays their bots with its backside shown to you? <laughs> I, I, I don't. Well, you know, maybe it depends if it, maybe on if you're if that sort of person. Maybe, maybe if it's Shockwave, you know, <laughs> he's different. Uh, but no, in the main, in the main, you know, gap fillers, you know, you know, where are they going to enhance the figure? I mean, we've got examples here. Galvatron. Yes. Um, massive you know, improvement. Massive improvement indeed. Um, you know, not just with the uh, the fillers for the thing that we will not mention, uh, the shoulders. Um, we've, uh, we've mentioned it. But he's got back fillers for the, uh, the pins. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. you know, what Rohan hasn't got on here that I have got is actually some little fillers for the, um, the armholes. Yeah. My uh, bad. I haven't put them on. <laughs> oh, he's got them. Um, you know, looking here at, at, at Grapple, uh, I mean, Grapple, Inferno, both of them have got similar sets available for them. I mean, fantastic figure in the uh, in the main, but with those gap fillers on it, I, I would genuinely say that's made that a, a legitimate mini masterpiece honestly i think if i hadn't seen this in hand which gav brought over i probably wouldn't have bought it and looking at it now when you look at it on paper they just look like tiny little bits and you think oh it's just a really small gap but if you look at how well finished it now looks without a single gap to be seen anywhere it really does just finish the look of the box exactly and then, you know, final little show, the most small thing. We're looking at uh, Soundwave. Yeah, this is the Netflix Soundwave. Um, Rohan and I were discussing earlier, you know, all it needed was a, you know, they've done enough remoulding on this thing anyway. It could have done with just that little bit more on the arm, you know. But, you know, one single arm filler. And it means that when you make the pose, the one that you want Soundwave to be doing, it doesn't have, you know, that ugly little gap on his arm, which spoils it for me. If you've got him in a more static pose, equally good for Soundwave, mm. you know, it doesn't notice. But for that pose, it just makes it pop. Definitely. I mean, I'm fortunate enough with my, my little filler kits, those were actually in a, you know, shiny metal i have had those painted for me uh just to tie it in with the uh figure that little bit more good job they've done too a very good job thank you to the man that did that and then here we've got the one scene kits i really like these because they help you to reenact that one scene that you memorize from either the movie or from the cartoon series with hot rod and his blade used to chop off the tentacle of the robo squid or when he's fixing Cup with the little welding torch, Jazz with his speakers from certain episodes of G1, and also with his hook from More Than Meets the Eye, Ironhide's drill, which I mentioned previously, one of my favourite scenes in More Than Meets the Eye, Cup with his Energon goodie bucks, which is iconic from the movie, and then the Trailbreaker's dish we mentioned previously as well. What do you think, Gav? Uh, yeah, I mean, there are others on there. I've got uh, my personal hot rod, didn't bring it along today, has, and we were trying to remember what it's from, yes. has where the, uh, the blade is fixed, it has a full-on arm cannon. I mean, um, you know, answers on the postcard to the usual address if anyone can actually identify where that one comes from. I mean, looking back at the uh, the weapons pack, Centurion Drone weapons pack, it has the cage for Ravage. Yeah. You know, that one appearance, um, you know, obviously third party have been fortunate enough to, you know, give us some extras. Hasbro actually got their act together with, you know, Hot Rod Cup. I mean, Cup himself as a figure is that one scene. You know, <laughs> the fact that they made him able to be popped apart so, you know, so he can utter those words, fix me. Very true. And here we're looking at um, what we're going to just call pure upgrade kits. Um, uh, we've, there's a slight anomaly in here, but we've got examples here of Wheeljack and Exhaust, uh, both of which are actually sharing a uh, gap filler kit upgrade 
on the uh, the, the lower legs uh, but with two different companies different kits to give them uh, a completely different look um will jack's got a go better kit on him um uh whereas um exhaust is uh got a a non-f kit attached to him i mean two bots that in their basic version are yes repaints with a head re-sculpt but don't look drastically different from each other but now with these upgrade upgrade kits on them i've got a completely different very unique look to them yeah absolutely i've got the same wheeljack kit as um, gab and i have to say that the bits that go into the lights for example make a huge difference in both the robot and alt modes and some of the other bits that go on like the wings and the shoulder cannon just make the look for me uh, and then we've got an example of Astro Train, um, you know, the, the gap filler upgrade for the, the back of the, the space shuttle. Just fills in what shouldn't have needed to be filled in. Yeah, totally agree with you. The weedy tail fin that you get with the original Astro Train figure is just shocking. We just show it off here really quickly. We can see that if you were to display your Astro Train in that manner, it just looks unfinished, untidy, and very, very weedy, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, at the back, we've got uh, what I'm going to call an upgrade kit uh, in a, a, a roundabout uh, Maybe an version. upgrade bot? <laughs> upgrade bot, yeah, that would be the better example. Uh, the smaller of the two is uh, Siege Ultra Magnus. Um, the other one is a third-party, slightly oversized... KO. Uh, the difference is being with it, uh, he's got instantly gap filled um, shoulder, shoulder pads. There are gap filler kits out there that do that. Uh, he also has got longer, proportionally longer thighs, um, mimicking um, pure upgrade kits that you can replace the, uh, the uh, white prime legs. And they extend out for uh, the uh, uh, armoured mode or proper Ultra Magnus mode. Um, this cost me, the larger one, I think it was a just shy of 30 quid. Yeah, including postage. Amazing. I mean, I've, the quality is brilliant and the die cast in there. This is the yeah. first time I've ever seen it in hand and... I have to say, the shine on the paint looks great. Who was it made by? BHF? Uh, BPF. BPF, I yeah. Yeah. BPF. Uh, I mean, I, I, I looked into... I was actually... The reason I got that was I was trying to find the leg extenders mm. for my original one. I had gap fillers, you know, Dr. Wu kit. Uh, absolutely brilliant. But I was trying to find the leg extenders and the prices were ridiculous. shocking, yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. And then I realised I could basically sell my other magnus on or your kidney uh the up the yeah the oversized version get everything i wanted gap fillers leg extenders all in one with a little extra height um and no battle damage no battle damage bit of die cast and still have some money left over to spend on more upgrade kits. <laughs> That's what it's all about. And the beauty with, in my opinion, with that oversized Magnus, he now stands eye to eye with Grimlock. Uh, eye to eye with Grimlock. That's how I wanted it. Makes sense. And then we've got Cup. Cup. Now, Cup's a special one. Yeah, Cup's a special one. Uh, on the left, we've got the uh, original Hasbro Melty Face. Uh, on the right, a third party company, unknown third party, found this one randomly online. Been keeping an eye on it and finally made the push and seemingly got the last one. I'm jammy like that sometimes. <laughs> you jammy dodger. Yeah, but yeah, we've got a dead eyed, despite light piping, uh, Hasbro one uh, with a face that is not my cup. Needs a facelift. Yeah, it needs a facelift. Uh, and, you know, we've got a completely, you know, looks like Cup. Yeah. With the blue eyes, it makes a big difference. And he doesn't look like he's totally drooping. Even the forehead just looks better and cleaner. Yeah. Looks looks just 
properly straight out of the uh, the cartoon. Uh, they did do a, th a, a another version of that thing with a cigar in his mouth, and I really wish I'd have got that one, but it had had sold out. If you find one, send it to Gav. And this is where you go, uh, I guess, slightly overboard. Um, so we've got uh, a couple of Cyclone Eye, uh, the original, and one that has had a lot of stuff put on it. Uh, it's got a third party head for the IDW style, uh, some shoulder pauldrons or whatever you want to call them, his samurai sword. And then I decided that wasn't enough, uh, that he needed his uh, hip skirts as well. Um, everything at the start, that's all available online, you know, your typical suppliers for upgrade kits. The uh, hip skirts are a unique 100% my custom only. Um, uh, I'm going to be getting this completely repainted at some point, the whole bot. Uh, nothing on that will be anything other than a pure custom figure. Um, I just love the look of IDW skirt, uh, Cyclonus. Just absolutely fantastic. I have a little bit of a thing for alternate versions, so mm. I decided to to go uh, completely overboard with that one. I like uh, to call him Crazy Face. Yeah. And then we've got two examples of um, Optimus Primal slash Nemesis Primal. Um, Optimus Primal has been kitted out with a uh, mutant mask, um, his uh, skull mace, and uh, a little gap filler for the chest. And that kit actually came with some arm cannons and a connector for the blades, which I've decided to shove on to um, Nemesis Primal just to give him a again a different edge to the other bot uh, he's also got some additional gap fillers and extra pits from that but that's an example where I've used one kit two bots and gone a little bit overboard on them <laughs> but created two unique very unique versions of the same mold uh, although I'm now questioning myself that do I actually I need pure Optimus Primal to go in with it so uh, yeah if anyone's selling one um, I won't cheap I, will, I might be considering getting a uh, Nemesis, uh, an Optimus Primal just to have him in his absolute basic self please contribute to our charity help Gav spend more on bots well thanks for joining us on Rohan's Corner Gav it's been a great experience what are your final thoughts on upgrade kits? Um, I mean, I think you've got to weigh up with with upgrades kit. You've got to weigh up a sort of a, a, a you know cost versus you know what value it is to you. Mm. Uh, you know, and that personal touch. That personal touch. Mm. Uh, I mean, I was thinking about you know uh, Alexis showing off his um, Scorponok uh, recently. DNA designs. Yeah, DNA designs. Now, for me, you know. Scorponok himself, 130 quid, and you're talking about a similar cost in total to get all of those upgrade kits. Uh, uh, uh. You know, I mean, that to me, uh, that's a lot of outlay mm. for just one bot. Um, that should have been that way in the first place. Exactly. Um, I'm happy with how mine looks. He's great. He looks menacing on the top of the shelf. Um would I like the rest of it? Yes. Am I prepared to spend that kind of money on it? No, uh, it's too much. Yeah. Uh, having said that, if I was to tot up what I have spent on some bots, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, I, 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 I would probably sit there and go, you know, you're, you're, you're kidding yourself. You probably, you know, have spent that. Don't tell the accountant. Yeah, no. Uh, I mean, the cup head. That wasn't cheap, mm. you know. For one single thing, um, I would say I probably spent more than the bot himself just to get ahead. <laughs> oh dear! That's Let's keep that between yeah, head, between you and other head. people. <laughs> well, it's been another exciting week here on Rohan's Corner. Join us again next week. Back to the studio. All hail the Decepticons! Hey boys, we've been rumbled. Well, let's bounce. Ha, 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 ha.